That's him. He joins us, 19 years old, just signed with the Hurricanes through to 2025. Congratulations, young man. Well deserved. Cheers. Thanks, Martin. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I know that you played for New Zealand under 20, but, you know, where where have you come from? Where were you born? Where did you play your code? All of that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, so I was originally, uh, originally born in um, Auckland. Um, family uh, moved down here to Wellington when I was, I think, two. And I've been growing up in um, a place called Taira in Wellington I know. Um, all yep. my life. And, yeah, just been playing uh, at the Elmore Rangers. I oh, just need you to hold tight there, mate, because I'm getting a lot of wind on your phone there. So, if you can just, are you standing outside somewhere? Yep. Can I tell you, and this is the honest truth, I grew up in Taita, Nainai, and I went to St. Pat's Silverstream. We got something in common there, mate. How about that? <laughs> no, that's good. Good yeah. place to grow up. Cool. So, is back row your favourite position? Is Sorry, is number eight your favourite position? Yeah, number eight. That's where I yeah, feel comfortable at and where I enjoy my footy. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, in the, uh, you know, you've got big reps on you. So breaking into the NPC side, how big a deal was that for you? I guess I was kind of just waiting on the opportunity to um, play at NPC. And when they came around in the first round, I just wanted to, um, you know, take the opportunity with two hands and just run with it. And, yeah, it's going, going well so far. And... Yeah, hopefully we can get the job done on Thursday. It's going real well so far. Won nine games in a row, same as the Cantabs. I mean, that's a pretty damn good run you're on. Yeah, um, after that Northland loss, and um, I think it was round three, you know, a few honest conversations, and, you know, the boys have just been turning up. And, yeah, not, like you said, nine games, pretty impressive. But, you know, hopefully make it 10 this week. <laughs> Peter Lakai is with us. and So when you talk about honest conversations, you don't have to say exactly what you said. But what does that mean? Does that mean that just the players sit around in a room or do you have your coaches with you? How does that work? Um, I guess it's players and coaches. Um, players have conversations with each other. Coaches have conversations with players. And, you know, um, after that Northland game, we just kind of reflected and, you know, we kind of told ourselves, you know, that wasn't good enough and, you know, we're not fulfilling our potential, I guess. And then, yeah, since then, it's been taking off. How does it feel for a young man like yourself? Do you do you have a voice in that team? Do you feel like you do? Do you sit back and listen to the other players, or do they really encourage you to speak your mind as well? Yeah, I guess every player has a, a, a voice in our team. We've got heaps of leaders, like Tej and Dukes, but, you know, if you, if you see something and, you know, you want, want to have a say on it, you know, you kind of just have a say on it and no one will, you know, judge you or, you know, tell you, you know, you're not in the right place to speak. So, yeah, I guess we have a good culture where everyone can talk to everyone. No one's got, you know, an ego, I guess. Well, it's all happening for you. Did you think that this, you know, at 19 years old, that you'd actually be thinking, wow, here I am, I'm about to play an NPC final, I've got a Hurricanes contract? To be honest, nah. Um, coming out of school, I was kind of in the, you know, unknown. Didn't know when I you know, play or if I'd play NPC and then, yeah, first year out of school and then gaining that Lions contract, I kind of thought that this year would kind of be, you know, just watching guys and, you know, learning as much as I can and, no, nah, I kind of just got the starting job and, yeah, just been taking the opportunity with both hands. You certainly have been. Yeah. And, look, and, and, and what do the coaches say to you, Peter? Did they just say, hey, look, you just concentrate on your footy, just play your own game? Is that the kind of messages you get? Trying to sort of uh, What I'm trying to say is do they try and declutter you so that you just go out there and play? Yeah, that's kind of what they say to me every week. Just go out there, play your game. Um, they try not to you know, overload me with too much info. Just just let me play my game and, yeah, i just go out there and do, do the best I can for the team. Who are you? Who are your inspiration? Who do you? Obviously, Artie would be one that you'd be looking up to, surely. Yeah, yeah, definitely Artie. Um, growing up, you know, Wellington boy. Um, yeah, he was definitely um, my inspiration, especially same position as well. So, yeah, he's a terrific player, isn't he? It's a real bummer we don't see him enough in the NPC. Have you played alongside him at all? No, nah, never. Um, I've been, I've trained with him a few times here at the Kings, but no, nah, never, never played with or against. Luckily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, hopefully in the Hurricanes next year that we can. What, is, what does a guy like him say to you? Does he give you some words? Um, he doesn't, yeah, 
yeah, he does sometimes, but, you know, a guy like him, you know, he kind of leads to his actions and you just sit back and watch him, you know, do his thing. And, you know, to be honest, that's probably, you know, how I learn best, just watching guys do their thing and, you know, just watching him, you know, you learn a lot of, of a guy like him. All right, let's turn our attention to the Cantabs because this is a traditional fixture, as you know, for Wellington Rugby. Uh, we haven't won the MPC for 20-something years, but we got the Shield this year as, as well. You know, you're part of that, which was brilliant. Hadn't done that for 20 years. Going down there and playing them, that's, that's the toughest ask in New Zealand domestic rugby. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we went down there in round two. Um, we got spanked, I guess. But there was a few positives out of that game. You know, first half was tight. Um, but we're far better team than what we were back then. But we know it's going to be tough on Saturday. Um, yeah, Canterbury always bring it, especially their crowd. They bring a bit of niggle as well. Mm-hmm. No, oh, yeah. Be ready for it. Yeah, that's it, mate. <laughs> you got to absorb all of that, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I love the fact you score your first hat trick as well. What a box to tick off that. A brilliant performance. <laughs> yeah. No, it's funny actually just finishing off the guys' hard work. I swear, um, pretty sure all those tries are inside five metres. So, <laughs> no. <laughs> it, was good to get all, um, it was good to get the credit for all the hard boys, uh, for the boys' hard work, but no, I'll put it down to the boys. <laughs> Look, great talking to you, mate. Um, I wish you all the very best. You've got such a huge future in front of you, and, and hopefully, you know, you stay injury free and uh, dream your big dreams, mate, because I know that you want to pull on an all black jersey at some stage, don't you? Yeah, hopefully one day. Yep. Definitely. All the best for the weekend, then. We'll keep an eye on you. Thanks very much for, for uh, joining us and talking with us, Peter. Sweet. Cheers, Martin.